Today we are opening the brand new Dark World Structure Deck. It is an incredibly nostalgic archetype, one in which that premiered 17 years ago in Elemental Energy, and one that is still getting support to this day. We have the pleasure of opening it. You can pick it up on November 30th at your local OTS. You can also get it at General Retail December 2nd, and you can see what's inside right now. So we're going to go ahead, sit down, and enjoy a very nostalgic but updated opening. As per usual, the back of the playmat offers quite a few guides, but the front features three of the new Dark World monsters from the structure deck, including the Fusion. Starting off with Overking of the Dark World, the new main deck boss monster. It has a myriad of effects, but if it's discarded by yourself, then you get to add a Dark World from deck to hand. If it's discarded by the opponent, you get to special a level four or lower Dark World, which is really good when you want to make something like Dweller. Additionally, if it's in your graveyard, much like Grapha, you can return a Dark World on the field to the hand to special summon it. So incredibly versatile. Next, we have Dark World Puppetry, which is great at disrupting the opponent as well as setting up your follow-up plays. It can banish up to three cards in either graveyard, so you can banish tier limits from your opponent. But in addition, you can banish your own fiends, then on the following turn, banish it from your graveyard to add back a banished fiend. So it allows you to recycle cards as well as give yourself follow-up. After that, we have Dark World Archive, which is a great card once you kind of get going. It allows you to continue to discard and continue to draw cards, but it's one of those cards where you already need to be comboing. With that, we do have Grapha, Dragon Overlord, of the Dark World. This card makes the deck so much better. It can essentially turn an opponent's effect into that of you discard a card. So it negates an opponent's card, it allows you to activate your Dark World cards, and if it leaves the field due to the opponent, you can special a Grapha and discard a card, further allowing you to play on your opponent's turn. Speaking of playing on your opponent's turn, we have Dark World Ascension, which allows you to fuse, but it is a quick play. It's also fantastic because you can use Dark Worlds from hand and use their effects in the process. But in addition to that, on your follow-up turn, you can add it back to your hand by discarding another Dark World. So it's one of those decks that offers a lot of follow-up in archetype now thanks to the new cards. After that, we have the new main deck three of, which is Genta. It allows you to search a Gates of the Dark World from your deck to your hand. And if it's banished, which it will be because you're activating Gates, you can special summon it back to the field. It is a level four, so it's great for, again, cards like Dweller, but in addition, it is a body that you can spin to your hand for one of your larger Dark World monsters. Next, we have Hermit of the Dark World, which essentially allows you to special a Dark World from your grave to either side of the field when it's discarded. You can also go with the Banished or Hand if it's discarded by the opponent. But after that, we have Dark World Punishment, which is the new Counter Trap. So this card allows allows you to stop an opponent's normal or special summon, but in addition, you get to discard a Dark World from your hand. So it allows you to continue playing on your opponent's turn in multiple ways, which I think is really cool. Might be a great side deck card for when you are going first. But in addition to that, it also offers some protection for your Dark World monsters. After that, we enter the commons with Overlord, Netherlord, and the final new-ish special summon from hand when it's discarded. Then we have the classics in that range with gold and Silva. Now, Silva is a card which to this day is fantastic. When your opponent discards it, you can rip two, you can prompt them to do so. And it doesn't just rip two and send them to the graveyard, it rips two and sends them back to deck. So you're not activating cards like that of the Ishizu or the the tier limits really really good from there we have some real classics with brawn beige level four you can make dweller with it it allows you to spin back your larger dark worlds it's still really good brow excellent reprint love to see that then from there we have some additional classics within the deck including the vanillas which is just fun to see after that 
the dangers. So we have these in common for the first time. Danger Bigfoot, great level 8 free summon allows you to activate your dark world effects. From there we have Thunderbird, Mothman, and Suki Noko. Now Suki Noko, excellent reprint, definitely needed that. And it's a good collection of just cards in general whether you're playing dark world or not so love to see things like that in structure decks that's a, a real classic from i think like 2011 2012 those builds of dark world absolute king blackjack that is another card that's just good in a wide variety of decks if you played paleo or things of that nature then we have dark world dealings historically Fantastic for the deck. We have Charge into the Dark World, Gateway to the Dark World, Dark World Lightning, get rid of those back row, Drag Down into the Grave, that's a card that I always appreciate seeing a reprint of, and Card Destruction. The card where you draw with a couple dangers, a couple Dark Worlds, and you think, I probably won this game. That's great to see. The Forces of Darkness, Dark World Brainwashing, and Dark Smog. We're getting apparently the reprints of all of the previously decent Dark World traps. And Deck Devastation Virus. This card is fantastic right now against decks like that of Sprite. You can get rid of all of their smaller monsters very early on when you side deck this in. I think that's great for going first. We have Paleozoic Dynamiscus, which is a card that definitely continuously works its way in and out of the meta and it's great in a variety of decks. Speaking of cards that are great in a variety of decks and formats, we also have Skill Drain. I think this is a card that could be reprinted a hundred times and still be good, so happy to see that. From there, we are apparently back to the monsters with Graffa. Very happy to see its inclusion in the deck. You are still playing it. It's a great pop. It's a great body. We have Snow, and this card is your searcher. So following it with Gates of the Dark World, the card that you essentially always want from the field. It really helps you get your plays going. You're using it again with the Genta. So great collection of cards and something I'm very pleased to share with you here today. Friendly reminder to subscribe for a modern deck profile and a vlog where we take it to locals and see just how it does against the modern meta. Also, I hope you enjoy this just as much as I do. I have always been a big Dark World fan. Again, I have these like crystal clear memories of 2005, 2006 when I was a lot younger and it really brings me back to that time in a very sentimental way. I hope it can offer that kind of like wave of nostalgia for you that it did for me. I think that it's just one of those archetypes that offers that sentimentality. And again, 17 years. It's a lot and it's really cool that it's being continued so thank you for being here konami thank you i hope you all have a wonderful evening and as always peace and love